Hey everyone, it's Sean with Pew Pew Tactical, and today we are taking a look at the Smith & Wesson M2.0 Metal Series. All right, we're gonna be thrashing this gun and letting you know how it goes. In exchange, we would appreciate your help. Support us by helping us to overthrow the gods of YouTube that keep their field-toed boot firmly in the neck of gun tubers like us. Hit that like and subscribe button for your sacrifice. In exchange, we'll provide you free of charge with this cringy gun meme. That's pretty metal. We have a lot of fun making these videos, but we want to remind you that a lot more information is over on the website, pewpewtactical.com. Head over and check it out. So overview, what is the M2.0 metal? This one is a nine millimeter striker fired pistol. It's full size, has a 17 plus one capacity. We're gonna roll right into the ergonomics. Starting up front, we've got some great forward serrations. And then moving to the back, you can see the slide stop and release, really good size and it's on both sides, so it's ambidextrous in that capacity. Uh, also, the mag release, really easy to reach. You've got the ability to switch it out to the other side also, so that's pretty helpful. Finally, in the back here, on the front strap, really aggressive texture on this, and then also on the back. Now, there are four different sizes for this piece right here that you can interchange uh, to fit your size, ranging from small all the way up to large. And uh, that's really good. So excellent ergonomics. And as you can see, the beaver tail in the back here is good enough for even a 2X size hand to not catch me with slide bites. So the ergonomics are very good. All right, so we're gonna do some uh, accuracy testing here. The object is to hit three shot groups at seven yards, we've got our target set up down the range and uh, we're just gonna try that right now. All right, let's go down and check those out. So using the Trigicon RMR and the excellent trigger on the M2.0, first group was right here, uh, second one was over here, and I know I dropped that one, that was all me. And then the final group right down here, you can see um, that's all almost touching. Very accurate, I'm happy with the performance. Let's move on to the trigger. Now, I have to admit, when I first tried a Smith & Wesson MP trigger, I really didn't like it. And it was just so different than anything else that I was used to. But I learned, I grew to love it. So we're going to show you why. It's got a little safety mechanism here. Uh, trigger won't go back any further than that without that depressed. So we'll push that. Now you have a wall right there. There's a little bit of a build in this pre-travel right here, and then a pretty defined wall, and then we'll break the shot. And then, slipping back out, reset is right there. Now, it's soft. I wish it were a little bit more defined, maybe a little bit more of a snap, but it is tactile. You can feel it, and you can hear it just a little bit. So again, we'll break the shot from trigger reset and back out. It's really good and it's one of the components that lets this gun be so accurate. So one of the cool things Smith did is simplify the Mountix opting situation. Sometimes it's a bit of a challenge knowing which way to go and with the RMR I mounted up it indicates that right here you use the type 1 plate and the RMR screws. But if you had a different application like a Leupold Delta Point You'd come on here to the number two plate and then use the screws and the beach screws. And these have uh, six plates came in this bag with uh, a bunch of different screws. So uh, really good instructions, very thorough in the owner's manual 
for the 2.0. Final thoughts on the Smith & Wesson M2.0 metal. I really like this gun. The tungsten gray color is really hot. I dig the fact that you have an aluminum frame. This grip is extremely aggressive, yet ergonomic. And one of the best benefits of that is that it allows you to really maintain control over that muzzle flip when you're riding it through recoil. So follow-up shots are really quick. The trigger combined with the other ergos helps with accuracy. It's very accurate. And with a 17 plus one capacity, very good reliability. We've had no issues with it whatsoever. Uh, you really can't go wrong with a gun like this. So the price on the M2.0 is listed at $899 on the Smith & Wesson website. And I'm seeing them go for about $850 on uh, different retailers. That's going to do it for us. We appreciate you watching. We'd appreciate it also if you'd hit the like and subscribe buttons below. And be sure to let us know your favorite metal band in the comments. Thanks for watching.